What is good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. If you do enjoy today's video, do me a huge favor by leaving a like. It really helps out the video as well as the channel. And before I did jump into this video, I did want to put up last video shout out on the screen. If you want to be shouted out in the next video, leave a like on today's video. Let me know down in the comments which one of the figures I show in today's video would you want Tamashi to release. Hey, yeah, man. With that being said, let's get into it. Now, over the weekend, I did happen to be on Instagram doing my typical scrolling. Just going through all the posts that do had the SH Figure Arts hashtag tag to it. I usually like to check out people's collections or their live figure photography as well as checking for any type of new figure arts news like if there's any new releases coming out or if there's any type of new third party stuff coming out so yeah man i'm doing my typical scrolling scrolling down the feed right and i end up running into something now what i'm talking about is nonetheless the base form vegeta that tamashi did tease at a recent event now it probably at this point was at least like three to four months ago when this was teased but nonetheless this base form vegeta was teased at one point and then completely forgotten it just disappeared i feel like at this point it's seeming like everybody pretty much forgot about it already but literally right there at that point in time while i was scrolling i had thought how many people actually don't even know that there's been so many figure arts that has been teased by tamashi but literally has never seen the light of day it was teased in an event or a couple different events and it just disappeared it was never seen again never talked about never released well for the people who don't know anything about them i'm about to fill you in on a couple of so with that being said kick back grab your favorite stack let's get into it now the very first figure we do have on the list that was never released but it was teased at an event will be nonetheless this afterlife version of goku that does have the wings and the halo i'm not even gonna lie design wise i really do like the idea of how this figure was finna turn out if they actually did do it now this obviously is sitting on the older 1.0 goku body which you meaning nine times out of ten this top here was somewhere around 2016 2015 somewhere around that area when the 1.0 body was still normal even with it having the 1.0 body and not a 2.0 body i really do like to look at this goku i can see something like this being a really good event exclusive i honestly feel like this is the type of stuff they should be going for as far as exclusives instead of tamashi just doing what they usually do with event exclusives and just repainting a figure we already got a couple years ago going re-releasing it i really feel like this is a distinctive thing to make this figure specifically stand out compared to any type of figure especially if they were to do it once because i honestly feel like that is a whole nother problem with tamashi and their exclusives they like to keep re-releasing stuff as another exclusive or sometimes they might even just take the accessories away and then re-release it as a regular release which honestly at that point it kind of defeats the whole purpose of it being exclusive when you hear exclusive it usually means something about the figure is going to be rare you're never going to see it again it's something that indefinitely makes a figure stand out compared to something else and like i said something like this would have been a perfect choice for that because we definitely ain't never seen any type of goku with this design choice but yeah man even with the amount of gokus we begin 24 7 i honestly wouldn't mind seeing something like this release at some point but nonetheless let's get into the next one. now coming in at number nine the figure that was teased at an event and we just never seen it ever again we did end up getting a version of this figure but it's nothing like the one that was teased at an event and the figure i am talking about is nonetheless a 1.0 version of a battle damage napper as far as this figure i'm not gonna lie as far as the concept of the overall figure it would have been a good idea to have a battle damage napper i feel like it really would have looked good on the show but specifically talking about this figure in the actual picture that was teased i'm not gonna lie i really don't like the look of it it's kind of ugly but honestly i can't even be too harsh on it considering this was coming out around again the 1.0 days of figure arts and everybody pretty much knows that a lot of their 1.0 figures look super dated almost look comparable to a dragon stars figure at current day yeah man as far as this one i ain't gonna lie i'm not really feeling it i really don't like the way the face looks it looks super goofy to me i understand that they definitely was going for a more animated look for his face like closer to the anime and the dramatic looking faces but i don't know i kind of feel like they missed the mark with this one it just doesn't look right to me it's kind of ugly and again the body proportion since it is on a 1.0 mold it looks really bad the overall concept the idea i could say would be live on a 2.0 body or a new 3.0 body However, on this 1.0 body, I just definitely ain't feeling it. Y'all let me know if y'all feeling this one down in the comments. With that being said, let's get into the next. One. Coming into number eight. Now, this is another figure that was teased and never released that we did actually get a newer version of later on down the road. And the figure, nonetheless, is a version of Majin Buu. Now, this specific one that I am showing is the Buhan version of Majin Buu. And I ain't even gonna lie. I'm kind of glad they didn't do this and go with this type of figure. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the figure itself because honestly for a 1.0 again this is on a 1.0 mode 
it doesn't look too bad but i am glad that they decided to just go with the regular super boo form instead of doing something like a boo or even in the next one that i'm about to show y'all i honestly feel like that would have just been everybody's more preferred look now, i would have been live if tamashi with the 2.0 majin boo did release some type of kit you could add on the boo or or boo tanks part but honestly at this point in time you ain't even gotta worry about nothing like that because you have third party companies like tons and toys taking care of stuff like that like i said it doesn't look too bad i'm not gonna say it go crazy and talk crazy about it because honestly for a 1.0 figure it honestly doesn't look too bad now does it come close to the 2.0 that we did get yeah that's definitely a hard no and i'm definitely like i said glad they did go with that 2.0 later on down the road but yeah man maybe a couple different variants of super boot would have been live but nonetheless let's get into the next one coming into the number seven spot this figure does correlate to the last one we just was talking about and it is nonetheless another version of super boo specifically the boo tanks version of super boo and again this was another figure that was teased at an event and we just never seen it ever again it honestly doesn't look too bad even for our 1.0 figure arts looking back on 1.0 figure arts now they look horrendous if you try to even come close to comparing it to a 2.0 or 3.0 it's just night and day i honestly couldn't even have a 1.0 in my collection if i tried to like i said for this to be a 1.0 it does look good but honestly there wouldn't even be a point to Mashi trying to release something like this now considering like i said we do have third-party companies like thompson toys that made this exact type of boot tanks conversion kit nonetheless it is definitely a live figure y'all let me know down in the comments if y'all would have picked this thing up if they ever released it with that being said let's get into the next one coming in at number six on the list is a figure that if it was released i for sure would have picked it up but there is a figure that is out there in the market that is like this one currently the figure i am talking about is a super saiyan 3 1.0 vegeta that was teased at an event and it just unfortunately never seen the light of day and i ain't even gonna lie for a 1.0 figure arts bro this figure straight gas bro this thing was released i for sure would have picked it up for my collection and like i said we do have a super saiyan 3 version of a figure arts that is out there in the market now it is not an official figure arts it does happen to be a demonical fit third party figure but it is nonetheless a super saiyan 3 vegeta and i can honestly say that i feel like this one right here for sure look better to me than the demonical fit one which is definitely crazy considering this one is on a 1.0 body the demonical fit one is on a 2.0 body with an updated scope but for me personally i just like the overall look of this figure man i feel like for this thing to be something on a 1.0 body it does look really good i just like the overall look of it really like how it looks like vegeta but it's not one-to-one -one vegeta i like how it has the shading on the hair as well as the clothes itself which makes me feel like this figure definitely could be in a realm of its own considering the fact that we never seen vegeta ever go super saiyan 3 so it really makes the figure stand out as something cool that you could collect on its own or something that you could put on your shelf in a what if scenario and yeah man like i said i really do like this figure i honestly wish that they did release it i would have for sure picked this one up but with that being said let's get into the next coming in the number five is a figure that did actually end up getting made later on down the road but in 2.0 fashion it does actually have a repainted version scheduled to be released next month and the figure i'm nonetheless talking about is the 1.0 super saiyan god goku and again this is another figure that if it was released i would have for sure picked it up i honestly prefer how this figure looks over the actual one that we are getting this upcoming month as well as all the other ones that have been released in the past and the reason i say that is i really like how on this figure they made him super skinny just like he was in the anime and manga because everybody knows when goku is in that super saiyan god form it does make him super slim and that's something that i feel like they definitely captured with this figure and they failed to do with the 2.0 release hey man i really like everything on this figure even the faceplate i feel like honestly looks better than the newer ones that we did get later on i'm really liking the overall colors on the figure and just the overall look at the figure itself i feel like like i said just looks better to me personally than all the 2.0 versions that we did get later on y'all let me know which one y'all would have preferred down in the comments and with that being said let's get into the next one. coming in at number four on the list is a figure that i feel like honestly nobody asked for and that's why this specific figure was teased and never seen the light of day again and that figure would nonetheless be the sh figure arts jocko and honestly when it comes to this figure i can see why they never released this because i don't know who in their right mind would want this character considering he plays such a small part in dragon ball super now i feel like he does play a bigger role in the manga but yeah man i definitely can see why this figure was passed up on and never seen the light of day again 
game. With that being said, let's get into the next one. Coming in at number three on the list, we do nonetheless have SH Figure Arts Bottos. I ain't even finna lie, for the time period that this figure was teased, I would say it does look really good. It would have been a good addition in anybody's Figure Arts collection. As far as this figure goes, I don't know why they never released it. I'm guessing when they released the SH Figure Arts Wii's, it must have not done that good when it was released, so it made them fall back on releasing something like this. And yeah, man, as far as this one, I don't really have too much to say about it, because I mean, at the end of the day, it's just bottles. I think it definitely does look good, but with that being said, let's get into the next one. Coming in at number two is a figure that was teased alongside that Vados figure when it was teased. And that would nonetheless be SH Figure Arts Chompa. Yeah, man, just like the Vados, I really don't have too much to say about it considering, like I said, I mean, it's just Chompa. The figure itself overall does look good. I would say it definitely is accurate to the source material. It's also another one that I understand why they wouldn't release it because not too many people is into the character like that. But yeah, man, y'all let me know down in the comments if y'all would have picked this figure up if it did release. With that being said, let's get into the next one. And coming in to the last figure that we do have on the list is nonetheless the base form Vegeta that was teased recently. As far as this figure, it definitely is weird to me that this was teased way before we even got the announcement of the re-release of the Super Saiyan Vegeta that we did get. It makes me wonder and look back on it at one point in time, was Tamashi going to include this base form Vegeta head with the Super Saiyan Vegeta figure? I honestly do feel like that might have been the case, but they might have been planning on at one point in time releasing that figure as a general release and not as that $35 retail release. But Honestly, who knows? Because just like every other figure I showed y'all on this list, this figure just completely disappeared off the face of the earth. It was completely ghosted and we'd never seen anything on it again. But it makes me wonder what could have been if these were released. But unfortunately, we'll never know. If you did like today's video, make sure you leave a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the amount. Stay tuned.